Cuphead is one of the most successful indie games of all time, selling over 5 million copies and even having its own TV show. It's very rare for an indie game to gain such a massive, massive cultural impact and following. We've seen it with other things such as Five Nights at Freddy's, which even got its own movie. But Cuphead was a passion project made by two brothers and they banked everything on this game. They had no idea it would end up doing as well as it did. But its popularity just continued to grow and grow over the years. And it leads me to ask, what's next for Cuphead? 2022 was a really big year for Cuphead because we had not only the Delicious Last Course DLC, but also the Cuphead show debuted, which is currently up to its third season. The next thing relating to Cuphead that we'll probably see will be the Cuphead show season 4. There's currently no confirmation of a release date for that, but it's very, very likely that we will see a season 4 of the Cuphead show, and I would predict that that would be the final season of the show, personally. People seem to really enjoy the show and it did take off reasonably well, although I see more people talk about the game Cuphead rather than the show, although I think it will bring in a big audience when there is a season 4. As for the actual game itself, the Xbox version received an anniversary update in September of 2023. Unfortunately, this update doesn't seem to have come to any other platform. I play Cuphead on Steam or on PC, and I haven't been able to take a look at the anniversary update, unfortunately. But this showcased a lot of unused artwork and artwork that was in progress from the developers. And it's really, really cool to see this stuff, this kind of behind the scenes content. We haven't seen a lot of it, especially for the DLC up until this point. So it's pretty awesome that this anniversary update was put out there so people can take a look. I've always been quite interested in cut content or content that was removed before the final release of the game. So to see this in a official package as an update is a really awesome thing from Studio MDHR to do and I just wish that it was on other platforms like I said. So will Cuphead ever get any more DLC? Now, I'm very sorry to disappoint a lot of you but I think it's very unlikely that Cuphead will ever get more DLC for the game. This is from a interview that was carried out with Maya Moldenhauer from Studio MDHR and I'll play the clip in just a moment, but what she essentially says here in this clip uh, leads me to believe that we will not see any further content for Cuphead as this DLC was meant to be like a send-off for the game or a big grand finale. That's why it's called the Delicious Last Course, obviously standing for DLC, Delicious Last Course. It feels like a, a, a good send-off for the game, so I'll play the clip and see what you guys think of that. Was there ever a point when y'all were developing the um, Delicious Last Course, did you talk about making it Cuphead 2, or was it always like, no, this is DLC, this is our last, like, homage to these characters? That's exactly it. Um, it. Initially, we were like, do we make this a standalone game? It was a very brief and short discussion because it didn't make sense. Storyline-wise, um, genre-wise, era-wise, we just had a lot of these homages that we hadn't paid tribute to that were, I think, as many developers can attest to, like so much lands on the cutting room floor, mm -hmm. we couldn't let go of it. Right. Um, and so we were like, you know what, let's just put it together, package it up, call it a DLC, mm -hmm. and um, give people more bang for their buck, I guess. For sure. <laughs> Now what's interesting is Studio MDHR have never said that there will not be a sequel to Cuphead. It is very possible that a second Cuphead game will exist at some point in time. It would take an incredibly long time to make a sequel to Cuphead, of course, if we take into account how long to, in development the first game was. That was mostly due to the amount of artwork and how complex and difficult it was to draw this 1930s style of animation. But it's very clear that the developers are very passionate about this art style. While I feel that a Cuphead 2 is something that can potentially exist, I wouldn't get your hopes up for it for seeing anything about it anytime soon. The Delicious Last Course was released in 2022, which in itself took an extremely long time to make. Uh, this was a DLC, it was a single aisle at the end of the game. It really is a huge undertaking to create a video game that is drawn in the way that Cuphead is drawn and staying faithful to the 1930s uh, aesthetic and style and way of animating as well. It's an extremely long, long process 
and it's not something that can be done uh, in a short amount of time. It'll take many, many years if anything further for Cuphead is to be developed. So what about if Studio MDHR are going to develop anything that is not related to Cuphead? They've expressed interest previously about making a top-down RPG in a similar style to Zelda. Now just imagine that, but being drawn in a 1930s animation style, that would be amazing. Uh, they are quite interested in doing some form of old-school retro RPG like that. They haven't really said anything about this. There's absolutely no information whatsoever to confirm that they are making a game like this, but there has been speculation due to the interest that they have in making such a game. Now, whatever Studio MDHR do produce next, people are going to expect it to have that 1930s animation art style, I believe, because Cuphead is so iconic at this point and it's so extremely recognizable. And whenever you see any other type of game that has a 1930s cartoon style, people immediately say, that looks like Cuphead uh, because of how much of an impact it has had. So people are going to expect some further projects from Studio MDHR to have this art style. And the concern there is the amount of time it would take to produce something like that. So projects would be very few and far between from Studio MDHR. However, that would mean that the games that are produced would be very special if even if we did get one once every 10 years or something like that. We are not going anywhere. We are big fans of 2D animation. Yes. I can say that. So you'll see more of that um, and just many more things at the studio. They've made it very clear that they are very passionate about this art style and art direction. So I would expect it to carry on to their other projects as well. Even if it doesn't, it would be interesting to see them try to tackle other styles or other types of animation as well. That's about it for today's video. I just wanted to kind of talk about where Cuphead is at the moment and what we will see next. It has actually been more active than you would think for Cuphead. As recently as September 2023, we have, re we have received some form of content for the game in the form of the anniversary update. So there has been more things being talked about for Cuphead. There has been more discussion and a little bit more content there. But to reiterate, uh, as for a sequel or more DLC, I would not expect anything anytime soon. And I do not think that we will ever see more DLC, unfortunately, but a sequel to Cuphead is possible. And if not a sequel, a completely different game unrelated to Cuphead that would have the same art direction. What do you guys think that we're gonna see next? Do you think we will see any of the things that I've talked about in this video? Let me know in the comments. This has been Brad, this has been Cuphead, and I am out.